Yeah? How are you guys doing? Make some more noise. How are you guys doing? Sweet deal, sweet deal. How's everybody's Halloween? Sweet deal, sweet deal. We're going to discuss that in a little bit. Uh, just so you guys know, we had some great uh, comedians coming up tonight. Uh, we have some first timers, we have some regulars. It's going to be good. It's going to be real good. Um, so, everybody's Halloween was good, right? Yeah? Everybody had a good time? Right? I didn't, I didn't really celebrate it that much. Uh, I uh, kind of played it safe. Didn't really put too much effort into it. I don't know if anybody saw me out. Uh, I was dressed as a woman. I was wearing Spanx. It was awesome. Um, here's, a, here's the funny thing about that. Um, there was a situation where uh, I walked in. I had my full on. I was, just so you guys know, I was a toddler in a tiara. So... I was a little five-year-old girl with a sash and a dress and a crown and everything like that. And um, I walk in and uh, there's a uh, bachelorette party in here and they get all like, you know, the chicks who are on bachelorette party, they're all crazy. I'm like, here for that. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. Well, you should come over here and join us. Join us. <laughs> That's like the 1% over there with the 99, so... We're occupying this part of the... <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, you find that real funny, right? Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I was a toddler in Tierra. I had a dress, I had everything going on, and makeup, all that stuff, and I had a space. And at some point, um, I was taking pictures with these girls, and one of the girls uh, decided to be a little frisky, which I approve of. And she put her hand on my crotch. Well, I'm wearing Spanx. So, I'm kind of like a Ken doll at that point, where it's like smooth down, and she's like, she kind of gives me this look like, oh, the rumor isn't true, huh? And I'm like, well, no, I was like, naturally, you know, if you find me in any situation, I don't even know why I said this, I was like, you find me in any situation, I got Barack Obama dick. <laughs> and she like, just kind of looks at me like, what? Like, and the funny thing about it is, is that, in retrospect, I kind of thought about it, and I was like, yeah, I actually do have... Barack Obama did because once I actually have sex with you, I never come through with half of the promises that I promised <laughs> from the beginning of the situation. <laughs> you know, like, Ooh, we're getting political. Let's get political up in here. So, um, yeah, Halloween was fun. Here's a funny thing that happened. Um, I hung out with my dad for a minute, and um, he was talking to one of his, uh, not, not while I was in the dress, um, <laughs> that would break his heart. Um, but I hung out with him for a minute uh, the day after Halloween, and I um, told him, uh, or the day after I was out, and I, he was talking to one of his friends from down the street who happens to uh, be a member of his church that he goes to. They're real hardcore. Like my, my parents are kind of hardcore Christians or whatever, and they was having that Christian talk about Halloween, where they're kind of like bashing Halloween and talking shit about, like, you know, oh, I can't believe these kids were dressed as witches and devils and stuff like that. And I was like, really? Like, so I like to join in the conversation, like, I'm on their side. And especially, like, in a black church with black people, like, I just started adding, like, statistics that, fake statistics that I read on the internet. I'm like, you know, so, uh, you know, like, uh, if a kid celebrates Halloween, then nine times out of ten, they're going to have a baby at the age of ten, right? And, uh, they're like, yeah, I know. God is vengeful. God is very vengeful. And I'm like, what? Like, that doesn't make any sense. And, like, it, I just kept going on with this, and I realized that it's kind of funny how black people would just believe any statistics that you give them because, I mean, they don't pay attention to statistics because if they did, they wouldn't be part of statistics so much. You know what I mean? So, yeah. That's, uh... We're just going to jump this off racist-wise all night. Um... Uh, so, here's the thing, um, here's something very exciting that happened uh, not too long ago. I caught a Macedonian. What? Like, I didn't catch him doing anything, I just caught him. Like, a hunting animal, like, or like, how you catch, like, a black guy driving around a square with no license. Like, I caught him. <laughs> like, and the funny thing is, like, I catch him, I put a bear trap out, you know what I mean? And 
like, I didn't have any meats or anything like that. I just had, like, bottle service in the bear trap. <laughs> and immediately, when that's better, it was all over it. Like, caught him. So, I go and, and relax. Like, I'm catching release. It's not a big deal. Um, but I, uh, once I caught him, I just, you know, looked him square in the eye, and I was just like, hey, cut it out. <laughs> Seriously, cut it out. And he's like, oh, it's your, it's your, it's your, it's your, and I'm like, Listen, like, you know, he started talking mess and in my mind, Macedonians talk like the sweetest chef from the Muppets. Like, but, <laughs> I'm like, cut it out. Stop being yourself. Seriously. It's pissing me off. He's like, oh, boy, boy, boy. I'm like, listen, stop telling me your name. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to hear what your name is. Like, <laughs> um, you guys are ready for some comedians tonight? Yeah. Yeah. You guys ready for some news tonight? All right. First up, we have a gentleman who is a first comer, so be warm and welcoming to him. Um, if there are any Jews in the audience, calm down. I'm saying Hitler, not Hitler. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Kevin Hitler. Shelving is 
familiar with shelving. Shelving for a guy that's overweight is when you take your gut and you put it as something that's like high up to you to relieve the pressure off your back. <laughs> it's, it's true. Anyways, ah. Oh. Now, I, yeah, I'm going to have to. Now, see, I'm just not physically intimidating. I got the, I got the muscle tone of a stretch arm song down. Because I don't have all the quirks that go with being a big guy, like, you know, wearing shorts in the winter. Because my arms are skinny and my legs are getting cold. And I don't have, like, because I don't look intimidating. You know, I'm not big and bad. I don't get to, I'm like, I don't got that biker feel to me. So, like, when I'm on the streets, yeah, because, you know, obviously you see my picture, that's a guy that walks the streets. But, uh, when I'm on the streets and say I get surrounded by a, a group of hoodlums, and they're, they want my wallet, all six dollars of the Canadian quarter in my wallet, there's only one game plan that I have to defend myself against all these attackers. And guys, take note. If you're ever going to get jumped, the only thing you have to do is just take down your pants and start masturbating. Because no guy on the face of the earth is going to punch another guy while he's got his wiener in his hand. It's just never going to happen. Just never. Yeah. So, I'm going to close with, uh, see, I'm a smoker, I chain smoke constantly, I go for like two packs a day, and one of the main reasons I like smoking so much is I like to not perform during sex, because as a smoker, you get out of breath so easy, you know, so you're going at it, you know, the first minute or half, you're good, you're just you know, everything's going fine. You know, like five minutes in, you're unbuttoning your shirt. Just because, you know, fat guys fuck the shirt on. <laughs> and then, you know, you're taking it off. <laughs> a little piece of sweat and you wipe off your forehead with the shirt you just took off. You know, and then you start putting a hand on your hip, like, six minutes in. <sighs> Not performing well. Okay? Now they start doing that lazy dog thing where you're just like this. It's, well, I'm gonna take this roll over on your side. Just, I'm dumb dog. Just, uh, just finish without me. That's, that's, uh.